morning, everybody. We are packed up. We got everybody got up around 7 a.m. this morning. It was nice and uh, sunny. A little chilly. It was about 42 degrees. Uh, most of us had diesel heaters. One of us was uh, not as lucky and as fortunate to shut off and uh, aren't able to use it. But um, you know, the sun came up pretty quick and it warmed up once you got outside. There was a little bit of a wind compared to the other nights, next to nothing. I mean, I think it was like a five to 10 mile an hour wind compared to like a 30 to 40 mile an hour wind. The coyotes this morning freaked me out. They were so loud. They, yeah, it sounded like they were right here. I know, like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm like, they'll get Mitch before they get me. <laughs> uh, oh. I pulled my gun out of the holster last night. Did you? Yeah, I was like, I could hear the footsteps. In the we got to go to Carlsbad Caverns this morning. We have a time slot at the National Park there. You have to pick a time slot and when you're going to be there. And you have one hour to show up. So as of right now, we're going to be right on time with our original time slot we picked. And uh, we're going to check that out today and then do some off-roading. So as of right now, we've got about an hour drive. There you go. You locked your Jeep, you said? Yes. Well, made her to Carlsbad Caverns, and uh, good thing we extended our time, Nikki. It was 10, 10 30 was our time slot thing. to 11, <laughs> and it's 11 o'clock, so we're gonna make it in, in our time slot with the drive. Oops. Hey, can everybody under the age of 16 do me a gigantic favor today? Mom and dads have a real nasty habit of getting lost down there. Stay close to them so they don't get lost. Does anybody know what happens if you lose them? They go bye-bye. Not exactly. They have the car keys. You want to walk home? I didn't think so. All right. Kay's right over there. Rest and dry at the stairs. Enjoy it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That's pretty good, little girl. You got that for us? I'll save it for later. We have to come back up to this <laughs> Jumping off place. Mirror Lake. There's a lake down here. That is cool. Top of the cross. I'm about to go if you are. Talk about an experience. I've been to a lot of caves, but nothing like this. This is pretty extensive. Just the, how they found everything and got all the trails through it for everybody. It's unreal. It's pretty amazing. Definitely recommend it to come see it. Looks like it's going to be a long way for elevators to go. Can you imagine hiking back up that hill? This way we can keep track of where we've all been across the country. So it's going to fill up pretty quick. We've been already probably 20 patches deep in the last two and a half years. So um, Next on the list is ice cream because that's what everybody's asking for apparently. So while we're filling up, we're going to get some of that. But then after that, we're going to run to uh, back kind of where we were camped. We have a couple cool ridge sites off of a cliff picked out, which we're hoping to be is gonna be a pretty epic campsite tonight. I'm guessing about a two hour trail ride to get to it. And uh, the winds, I think a little bit later, are gonna die down, so it should be okay to be on the edge. But I guess we'll see. We'll play that by ear when we get out there. But it should be pretty cool. Can't wait.
Nikki's, which way is that thing pulled? <laughs> you're, you're screwed with that regardless, oh I hate to say it. Yeah, you know, no matter what, they're not going to touch each other. Be in the wind. And she's facing here, and then here comes the gladiator, and parks like right here. That'll block the wind, and then Matt can be here, my dad can be there. In the gladiator. We're going to start with Dave and Nikki, and we'll fill in. It opens that way? Yes. So then you need to park right here. No, you better. Nose to my nose. You need to hit her car door with my dad. Yep. Yeah, I'm on board. Now let me pull this ahead even further. I'm just gonna go do a loop around the block. Right, <laughs> oh, right to the tree. So she can open the door. Oh, okay. yeah, oh. there it is. <laughs> right, well, we gotta put some rocks under your tires. Can you pedal, Dave? <laughs> now what? <laughs> I don't know, you Pop made the right diagram. There. Back it in. I think I'm going to put the gladiator oh. right there. Because so I kind of want this to go into the wind, too. Hey. I thought we were going for a horseshoe. We are. Oh. This looks like a Walmart parking lot. Well, I tell you what, we it's had a out. fun day. We had a fun day uh, on the trail, got to see the homestead and stuff, which was really cool, and made our way to on the edge of the bluff, which you guys seen. The winds picked up a little bit more than we wanted to. No matter if we move or not, we're gonna have some windy conditions. So we figured we'd just stay here and knuckle down and take in the sights here. We just kind of horseshoot our way all the way around. So this way we had somewhat of a wind block. I mean, granted, it's not doing the greatest job, but there's a little bit. Hopefully get some sleep and then get up in the morning. Try what? not to be cold in the morning and hope it's going to be that cold and that, that, that windy yep. tomorrow. Well, we have our... we can move like last time where we had to stay there for two days. Yep, just to stay out of the wind. Mm -hmm. But this time we're not. Mm -hmm. We're going to stay We're gonna stay here for one night. Luckily, our off-road trailer has a built-in diesel heater and a built-in propane heater, so we're pretty prepared for the worst conditions. Back home in Wisconsin, we do winter camp. Uh, so as far as being cold, that's not really an issue. The wind actually is the bigger issue. I almost rather be cold uh, than have that wind gust. Wouldn't you agree? Because at least you dress that it's way. It's moving. Yep. But, uh, yeah, everything's kind of moving here. Yeah. And then uh, in the morning, we're going to head towards uh, White Sands yeah. National Park. And and go check that out. Soon yes, Grandpa is leaving tomorrow. He's going to be departing back to Wisconsin on his own, and then uh, Matt will be headed off on Saturday, and then it'll be just the four trucks left. But they're going to head out. So we're open. He, Grandpa wanted to see White Sands before we ended up going home. Tomorrow we're going to hit the. Ri There's a rim road that goes all the way along this ridge all the way through. So we're going to hit that all the way, and you guys will see that here. Make our way to Alamo Gordo and then come down around of Almogordo and go to White Sands. But I wonder if it's going to be windy there. Maybe a little bit. Hopefully it dies down for our sake, right? And then we can lay down White Sands. Oh, you're talking to White Sands? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might be. Might, the winds might die down down there because that's lower elevation. We might get lucky. I think we're at about 5,500 feet right now. So I think that's at like 3,500, so a couple thousand feet lower. We're all going to go on our own. Tents. We're going to have movie nights. In, in our tents, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And so then we stay warm because it's too cold and windy to sit yep. sit out there and talk. Because in, when I was in the Jeep, just sitting there with Lana watching YouTube videos, like we could hear the wind and the truck was like moving <laughs> back and forth. Yep. Good night. Good See night. you in the morning. Holy shit. The wind really picked up last night. Scott's just finishing up. That was fun, to say the least. Morning. Morning, everyone. That was a definite learning experience. Um, 
we knew what we were getting into before we did it, but we wanted to test the limits and we sure did. There's no doubt there. They said it was gonna be the 15 mile hour winds like we talked last night, but uh, yeah, I think they picked up to 30 plus. And uh, the tents, everything did good that way. I can't complain. Um, I mean, the heat kept up as far as that goes, but man, it's just so windy off this, off this edge that uh, you couldn't even breathe walking into the wind. It would suffocate you. So, um, you know, I guess we learned it was the first time we've been in conditions like this to this extent. Now we know what we're gonna get ourselves into um, as like a worst case scenario in Alaska. Um, I mean, snow camping, we got that down. I'm not worried about it. It could snow a foot and we're, we're fine there. Uh, but these really bad winds are totally different element. Uh, we don't get stuff like this back home. So it was good to kind of see what the what we can handle. And I, I mean, overall we handled it just fine. But uh, we're gonna go find somewhere that is less windy so that we can go make coffee and get some breakfast for everybody and just relax a little bit because it was a pretty quick cleanup. Uh, let's uh, try getting a spot and uh, see what happens. <laughs> but maybe it's not. Moment of truth. Try out the Trail D jerry cans. What's in it? Hopefully diesel. diesel. Jerry's. <laughs> diesel fuel. Got out. <laughs> we are nowhere near a gas station. Don't you have to use a special funnel when you pour, pour in through those gas caps or no? I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now. Yep. Dad, hit it in here. You need a tackle here? Yeah. 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 yeah, she works. So definitely a little awkward. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Take two. The door, fuel door does not help my situation. Until somebody comes out with a auxiliary tank for a diesel gladiator, which I will gladly purchase. Hopefully somebody does. Um, we'll have we'll make do with this. Overall, I mean, it does what its purpose is, so you, you know you can't be upset about it. And for not having anything else to work with, <laughs> what do you do? So I'm just happy that someone did this, because otherwise I'd be in even more trouble. <clears throat> but we're both down to about a half a tank and uh, we got another probably 75 off-road miles to go so it comes in handy here we go again see if I can not make as big a mess this time can Ash can you put her never mind I think I got it I was going to say put the nozzle in, but it seems like it's going. Oh, well, you can't get it in? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who was going to give up. <laughs> Dad, do we, Dad? Um, putting fuel in Mommy's Jeep. Mommy, ma Fredo. What? Hey, Fredo is there. Yeah. She needed more fuel. She was out of diesel. So daddy put more in. Because you didn't want to walk, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> daddy. Daddy. Don't call Kenzie. I don't know what she was eating. Kenzie. Kenzie, no. I hope it yeah. wasn't a cow pie. Ooh. We'll find out. <laughs> Good job, Hannah. You go yell at her. You tell her. No poop eating. No poop eating! <laughs> Uh, 
out back to the main road after two days of being off-road and about a I think we did about a hundred miles off gravel road and uh, just got to get everybody's rigs aired up so we can head to Alamogordo here which is another probably 40 miles by road and then White Sands National Park so it'll be pretty fun to see and it's supposed to be warmer there and less wind How are you doing after some coffee? Much better. Yeah? I'm not a cranky bear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How's it getting cranky? Yeah, same. Mom, okay. Yep, squeeze the pole. Good job. just got done doing the inevitable, which is airing up. I swear, it's like everybody's thing that they hate to do because it takes so long. And uh, we just got, uh, I had to fill up 10 tires with our Airb portable compressor, which does work flawlessly for being out in the wilderness and having that. Now we got another about 50 miles to go on road. We just did about 100 miles off road and uh, we're headed towards Alamo Gordo into white sands. We just got a nice black top road now. We're just pulling into the town of Cloudcraft on our way through and I didn't realize how cool of a little town it's this is. Here. This is super cool. You guys want stop or anything? Just to stretch legs I guess will be good. I'm gonna go to this uh, Dave's cafe up here for uh, the bathroom and coffee. I want to go check out this town. Right? Yeah, this is where we were down here. Really? So let's go check it out. Right. We're going to check out an old abandoned train bridge. Uh, trussel bridge is what they call it. And it's up in Cloudcraft. So it's a little quarter mile loop. But it's a neat little thing along the way that uh, hasn't been used in a long time. I guess we'll get a little more history on it when we get up here. But it seemed like something pretty cool to check out. <clears throat> I can't believe it. I gotta find you a walking stick. Oh, I'm just gonna go back up. I'm not gonna go further down. Well, then sit here and wait for it. Coming right back. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just gotta go right down here. Yeah. Are you coming back? Is it a loop? No. No, I think that's part of the Let's go. Go find the other one. Well, Hannah said she wanted to go to the beach, so here's the sand, Hannah. Hey, Mommy. She has a bag for us all the time. Pretty cool. White Sands National Park. single time we go on a trip. Speed limit 45, Scott. But by the time they pull us over, it's usually just to say how cool our rigs are <laughs> and that they needed to see them. The one, guy, oh, the, the one guy last year in Oregon pulled me over because he said some woman said that I swerved on the highway and cut her off and I happened to be at a gas station and the cop was just rolling through and happened to see me and pulled behind me. And he was wondering if I was drunk driving. <laughs> and when he pulled up on me, he looks at me and he's like, you definitely weren't drunk driving. He's like, I can tell by what you're driving. And then Ashley pulled up behind me in the other Jeep. And after he figured it out, said that we, said we are good to go. And sat for another 30 minutes and just looked over our rigs and told us how nice they are and he was comparing camping spots with us and stuff like that it was pretty cool so that 
cops are actually really awesome people uh, when you get pulled over I just we try to be as courteous and as nice as possible you know what I'm All right, well, we made it to our campsite in Alamogordo, and we got a great view of the mountains in the background here. As you can see, made it just before dark, so, and we got our all of our rigs set up to be out of the wind. We got the trailer kind of being the front to block everything, and uh, getting all the tents set up with the wedges, the hard shells all facing the, the wind, so should have actually a pretty good night, but man, the view, you really can't go.